Okay, one more video. We were working on the, showing a, putting where to cut out for the wing spar. And we've got one more. I need We need to mark a place on this piece here where to cut out. So we're going to do the same thing. Curve object, curve from objects, intersection. And we're just going to select our four sides here. And turn the fuselage back on and select that. And then you see here we got our square. And we actually don't need all these lines. We can delete these four. And that gives us those there. Just go ahead and copy it or change them to the surface. The reason we do that is if you look at this part here, you see it shows you where to cut, cut out so you can slide the wing spar through the fuselage. can also see it also gives us the glue line or the shadow call out I call it for this part here that way you know where about where to glue it onto the fuselage I don't need that part yet it's not even close to being done all right so this is what we've got so far We've got our fuselage, our tail, wings, engines, and the wing spar. Next thing we have is to do landing gear. Which, if you've noticed on any of my three views, I only have two that show me where the land, or one that shows me where the landing gear actually goes. Is the front one. So that one is going to take research to figure out where the landing gear goes and what it looks like. What do the gear doors look like? Stuff like that. Oh, and I forgot this. I have no idea what this is. But if you look, that one didn't have it. This is something that seems to be exclusive to newer planes. I don't know what it does or what it is. I always call it it's this part here. I think it's probably something for the thrust reverser. Because it looks like there's one on either side. Top and bottom. See it here. I don't know how the thrust reverser on the Airbus engine works, so it's this part right here. So what I'm gonna do really quick is add that to the engine. Turn everything off, turn the engines back on. As you can see it stretches from here to here. that didn't work. If you want to need to draw a line but it's not agreeing with you project pick our line pick the part now we only have to delete one stretch it out a little Okay, now this is kind of tricky because you see in this one it's rounded. I usually just do a, a simple box, but since it's rounded, I'm going to do an oval.
And we're going to project onto the engine. And what I'm going to do here, take this, and we're going to trim everything past here. Take this part, or these parts, make them actually part of the part. Click here, and what you can do is zoom right on the part you want to do. You see, that's not going to work. That takes up way too much space. Now I had a close up of the back of the engine somewhere in here. There, see, it looks kind of flat, but not quite as. doesn't quite jut out that much. Sometimes you don't want to re reinvent the wheel, so you just backspace or hit Control Z to undo everything you've done. I'm going to try making it smaller. Smaller works, and you just do everything we. Ctrl Z fixes just about everything. Alright, let me take this, put this up here. Okay, what we're going to do, we need, we're going to do a duplicate edge. Take this part, delete that. What that does is that gives us join these together. Sure you type out your command loft that'll give us that part there and what I want to do since it's an oval part we start here that was actually the wrong one to grab so start here back in the middle shift to free up the turn off ortho again because that always messes with that All right. and we want to take this part join it and then split along here and then what you want to do a lot of problems Rhino has is that if you try and lock two parts that touch each other at a corner it, it'll have a heart attack when you try and unroll them so what I do is make sure they don't actually touch and it has smaller heart attacks quick loft now we have our little engine paddle thingy that I have no idea what it does just what I'll do is when I unroll the engine I'll unroll that part and actually glue it or not glue it but I will attach it to the engine what I'm doing right now is 